Welcome to our YouTube series about building a fashion brand. In today's episode, we will extra delve deep in two different AI, mid journey and for the first time, Firefly. I recently had access to Firefly and I wanted to explore and see if Firefly can be as good as mid journey if can be even better or can be also different. So what I've done is I've tried them out, both of them at the same time with the same prompt to see what they're capable to do. However, like I always say, and I make clear um, to um, the people watching this um, YouTube channel, I, I do use a bit of AI, but I do not design my collection, my products with AI. I have very recently um, tried AI because everyone, of course, is using it. And I sometimes I give it a go and see what I can get. But um, before I do so, I have, and remember this, it's so important, a very strong DNA and identity, which I will not um, try to, uh, let's say, um, design or amplify through um, mid journey or any AI, because um, what you can have yourself as a designer, as a creative person, it's much more powerful than AI. Of course, AI is fast, it's quick. You just type and you will have the, and the image uh, generated in two minutes or, or maybe not even one minute, 30 seconds, depending on. Sometimes it can be uh, different, of course. Um, but don't become addicted to AI. Be creative yourself. Yes, amplify or try to amplify your design with research, ideas and collages and, and so on. But don't become AI addicted. Okay, so let's delve deep and let's see the differences between these two incredible artificial intelligence. Okay, so this image is being generated just um, from a prompt in mid -journey. And if we go to see this image slightly bigger, it's kind of believable. So I can already see that mid -journey is improving like massively because we are almost looking at fashion photography. The quality of these images is superb if we understand or if we consider that have been generated by a prompt on Midjourney. So, for instance, this one, it's super commercial, super wearable. I think many people would wear it. Boys, girls, and it's very sporty. So, good spot, Mid Journey. This one, the second one is very uh, Daniele Bardis. It's a little bit Mugler as well from the 80s. And it's very me. Uh, I would change a few bits and bobs and I would make it my own. But this is very casual because normally I don't ask um, Mid Journey to design my collection, but why not to explore and see what Mid Journey would eventually suggest me? But bear in mind that Mid Journey has a database, an existing database from which Mid Journey fetches information about images, etc. So, of course, Mid Journey will not create something that is not being designed but it will show you something that possibly has been designed and possibly has been put together with some of the words that you uh, put in, into your prompt. Again, this one, the white one here on the bottom, I guess is wearable. It's a bit fashion-y, uh, but I would say very wearable. This one, highly, 
highly, highly commercial. Um, H&M would do it, um, Zara would do it right away, and if they not done it already. So let's go to see um, another couple of images uh, from Mid Journey before we pop on um, Firefly and we see the differences between Mid Journey and Firefly. So, uh, we can see this other image that has been generated uh, based on the previous one, which is this one. So now we can see this other image, which is basically the evolution of this one in Mid Journey. And frankly, guys, I love these two pieces, like, really a lot. Because this is very Daniele. Well, I would change a few, very few bits and bobs, I would change the quilting, but the shoulder pads are really me. This one instead, what I love, yes, it's a bit costumey, somebody would say, it's true, but you can turn it down a bit, um, just making the shoulders slightly simpler. Uh, but what I really love from uh, this image, or, or better to say, of this image is the cutting of the shoulder which is kind of squarey which is absolutely fresh new and not overdone or uh, overseen before so now we can finally pop into um, firefly and see what firefly is gonna do okay so this is uh, firefly as you obviously can see we can um, understand that it is still on a sort of a beta version, so not everything is functioning. As you can see, many uh, features are still on work in progress. And if you go on uh, Firefly and you click on this video, you will see uh, quite a few things. We, we can see them eventually later in uh, this video or some other video. But more interesting is to go to see what um, the text to image will generate. As well, you can have a look at the text effect, which is fantastic and can really help you out if you are designing some t shirt um, or kiddie stuff or anything very colorful and funny and happy and so on. So, um, this one I haven't tried it yet but let's go to see um, what is the topic of today the um, you know the AI and what the AI can generate through a prompt to you know amplify your vision as a fashion designer or as a designer in general so let me just pop here the same identical prompt I've used for mid journey and let's see what's going on right so uh, bear in mind it's a beta version so it might be slow it might be not particularly efficient but um, let's wait and see okay so um, if frankly I um, I'm not impressed because the prompt wants something uh, more, you know, fashion, more um, geometric, and this is something that we we have seen like 25 years ago. Um, it's nothing new. I'm not not very impressed. So I can refresh it and see what is gonna create. Right, guys, you can see, um, and no offense for Adobe because I use Adobe, the full package, every single day. And, you know, it's absolutely, for me, um, indispensable. However, if we talk about Firefly, it's not the Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, Premiere Pro, etc. We, we are seeing we we can um, witness that um, Firefly is not at the same level yet of um, 
Mid journey. I don't know if Firefly would um, eventually evolve and become like incredibly intelligent like Mid journey or will just remain like this very basic everyone can design anything like this um, even a child so let's refresh it once again so I'm gonna go no 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 terrible terrible I just want to cry and once again you know that's another attempt but as you see, um, I'm sorry, uh, Adobe, forgive me for what I'm gonna say. I'm horrified to see this because if you are uh, launching a beta version, make sure that you know it's gonna be at least good enough to captivate um, the audience. Because, like this, frankly, um, well, like I said, I'm not going to use the AI to design my collection, but just to research, amplify, especially when I do consultancy, uh, you know, I might explore things, I might see what the AI could suggest me. But in this case, having seen what Firefly has provided me, I feel like no no sorry sorry firefly not my cup of tea frankly guys there is no comparison with this quality and this uh, sorry to say very poor design that um, firefly has showed me today and you know especially based on the same um, identical prompt I've used for my journey. Okay, so today we were just comparing the two um, different AI to see if one of the two can be implemented in amplifying your um, design, your inspiration, your research, your um, um, product development and so on. Bear in mind, Firefly is on a beta version, so probably in six months or a year, I don't really know how long would it take um, for them to uh, finish the development of Firefly. But uh, from what we know, uh, the Adobe uh, programs are incredibly powerful. So I would expect from Adobe a very powerful Firefly so I'm sure we'll touch base again in some other episode in the future when Firefly is going to be more powerful because Firefly uh, can be very different than uh, Mid Journey because Mid Journey can be uh, good to some time to explore ideas but Firefly can be good as well to, I don't know, create things for kids like some writing on t-shirts or you know anything that is very colorful and you know even the other features that we haven't explored today can be incredibly powerful for video editing and stuff like that so we will see um, the um, evolution of um, i'm sure uh, firefly over the uh, the time and in one of my uh, next episode but i guess a bit more in the future so thank you very much for watching i hope you really enjoyed it please subscribe your help is paramount for me to grow this channel help other people new companies fashion designers and share a bit of knowledge with um, you guys uh, to um, help you out with some tips and tricks so stay tuned Thank you for watching and bye for now.